As systems developers at Microsoft in the 1990s, handling crashes like this was part of our normal bread and butter. Every dev at Microsoft, at least in my area, had two machines. For example, when I started in Windows NT, I had a Gateway 486DX250 as my main dev machine and then some old 386 box as the debug machine. Normally, you'd run your test or debug bits on the debug machine while connected to it as the debugger from your good machine. On nights and weekends, however, we did something far more interesting. We ran a process called NT-Stress. Now, NT-Stress was a bundle of tests that would automatically download to the test machines and run under the debugger. And so every night, every test machine, along with all the machines in the various labs around campus, would run NT-Stress and put it through the gauntlet. The stress tests were normally written by our test engineers, who were software developers specially employed, back in those days, to find and catch bugs in the system. So, as an example, they might write a test to simply allocate and use as many GDI brush handles as possible. If doing so causes the drawing subsystem to become unstable or causes some other program to crash, then it would be caught and stopped in the debugger immediately. The following day, all of the crashes and assertions would be tabulated and assigned to an individual developer based on the area of code in which the problem occurred. As the developer responsible, that you would then use something like Telnet to connect to the target machine, debug it, and sort it out what went wrong. 